Hello there and welcome to all. As you can see I am in the city of Italy within Beam NZ Drive and the goal for today is to head on over there, the city of Norte or Nort or however it's said. We are currently at Castelletto so Let's get a move on. Gonna activate the AI first, which I had a bit of a problem with. Because the uh, UI decided it wanted to be a bit weird. But we get the AI spawned and then we are underway. Now, for those of you who do not know what Beam Engine Drive is, it is a soft physics simulator. What that means is... We will damage our car significantly with anything that we make mistake with. Whether that be turning in too hard, smashing into another vehicle, which we kind of had to here because this one just was not moving, despite making the attempt to. Yeah, it's just stuck there or something and we can't get past it. We make a good attempt at doing so and bash it out of the way and then we get onto a more wider part of the city and make our way to freedom or at least the countryside but not before selling behind more vehicles in another traffic jam this one fortunately moving as I said though any mistake we make, we damage our car. Because it's a soft physics simulator, the damage on our car is a lot more intense than what it would be in any other game. So a slight scratch or a slight deformation to the front bumper or any part of the front of the car we will feel that. We will feel it. And then, while I wasn't timed with this, it was just get from Castelletto to Norte. It's not really much of a way of sewing the physics off and the game if we are just being a regular old driver, selling behind another person at 20 miles an hour. So I am gunning it as best as I can. And this is my second recording attempt because the first recording attempt I made I never activated the sound in for OBS record recording. So I don't know, there was a lot more happening in that and I felt I didn't want to use it because no sound means absolutely nothing for when I'm not doing the talking and that's not really what I want. I at least want to give you a good I do with the game sounds when I'm not talking and even when I am. Anyway, enough of that. I am using the road signs as best as I can to navigate. And that crash there was felt. You can see my car starting to pull to the right. Which means I'm trying to overcorrect. Which means I'm more likely to damage the car 
after getting into a spin or something like that. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I'm making around that corner fine, but then I put on a bit too much speed across here. Have another bit of an accident, and then don't hold. Well, don't turn left as good as possible, and end up on that curve. And that ruins the attempt number one. So attempt number two happens, and getting out of the city goes a bit easier. Obviously, I'm still going to be sat behind traffic, and it doesn't really like to move. But I'll make a good attempt at not crashing into it this time. I'm sat right behind him, obviously, but not crashing into him. And then this wide road gives me the opportunity to escape. In my excitement, I pull on a bit too much speed, almost fail to get it stopped before slamming straight into those buildings. But no injury to the car. And then I'm trying to overtake that by being a bit too impatient and my left side is now in a bit of a hurt. He's now a bit hurt. Although I don't really feel the effects of it immediately this time. I will eventually because damage means there's going to be, it's going to break easily so that anything more happen. And this time it's oh so bad what happens. Because I now start to feel the pull to the left. I'm being a bit... well no, I ain't really being cautious at all. Why would I be doing that? But I'm gonna, gonna get down the streets, ready to take any opportunity I can. And that is a part there, that brake wall turning, that ruins the suspension a bit, and the brakes and Something which means I can't get stopped in time and turn right and I end up in that tree. So third attempt. This is the one that works, but it's not like I get off completely damage free. So once again we've got the uh, escape the city bit, we're sat behind traffic, there's more that we're waiting for to turn around on this thin part of the road, and uh, it kind of moves on a little fast pace. Maybe slower than what we've already experienced, but it moved along fast enough. And so we move along fast to get out, remembering to slow down for this turn. And we play it a bit cautious, even though there wasn't really any need. And then we're out of the city. A bit of a drift. And 
Yeah, we're being very cautious now. We want to survive. We want to make it. Oh, and of course, you know what's going to happen next. While there's traffic around, yeah, I'm going to be cautious. If maybe slightly exuberant. And then, ooh, look, no traffic around. Let's gun it. Except. There's a corner, there's a blind spot, there's a car, we failed to stop in time. Our front is now damaged, but we still can turn. We still have the ability to turn with no trouble whatsoever. But because our front is now damaged, internal systems will start to get damaged as well. Which, yeah, that isn't good. And you would think, considering I know that, I would be a bit cautious and stop speeding around everywhere, but... Nah, why would I want to do that? Instead, I'm gunning it to the best of my ability as per the norm. Making around here, almost landing ourselves on the curb again. Almost crashing into that blue car there. We, yeah, we definitely take this part more cautiously, remembering that we ended up on that curb. But then after that, we threw course into the winds. And it's by throwing course into the winds that I almost miss the direction I meant to be going in. Fortunately there's no traffic around so I could turn around. You can see there the bonnet is uh, popped up a bit, deformed. Oh yeah, city of Norton. No, Nort, whatever. Again, not learning lessons, I'm gonna get down an empty, supposedly road. There's crash number two. The radiator has now been damaged. The car will eventually overheat through exerting it too much. And you'd think that would have ended me that crashing onto the rocks, but somehow I survive. No damage. So now that I'm smoking, I am being more cautious. I know that the next thing to go will be the engine. I don't want that to happen, especially not this close to the end. But I still overtake everyone because the opportunity is there. Over the river, and then checking the road signs, making sure I take the right turn. You'll see, well, you'll understand if I release the first lot of recordings in some form. Because that, I kind of messed up that turn. I won't reveal any more. So now we... This road is the last one to take us into the city of Norte. No. But then our final destination is the port. 
Almost have a scary uh, colour zone with height. But we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, you can see that we're massively smoking now. The car needs a rest. But I ain't gonna give it one. We're pretty much there. In fact, we are. From Castelletto to Norte in about seven or eight minutes. And then I park myself up, letting this car go through first. And then I inspect the damage done to my car in the walking mode. Yeah, well, I've definitely seen a lot worse done to a car. There's definitely worse that can be done to cars. As you will see with that recording, first recording session. Then I decide, you know what? Let's push another car into the sea. We've got nothing to lose, we're done, and then... Physics decide, no, the two cars, despite the fact there's nothing technically linking them, should be linked together. So that car is stuck there. But that was my journey from Castelletto to Norte on BMNZ Drive. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.